guys, my name is Christy and I am the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life. Welcome back to our channel. So today we are talking about one of my favorite topics and what we do here at DeSilva Life, which is workflows. So what we actually do at DeSilva Life is we help other business owners set up workflows in our two favorite tools, ClickUp and HoneyBook. These two tools are where we organize everything in their businesses and we also use them in ours to get everything back on track. But often people come to us without having their workflows actually mapped out yet. And that's where things get really tricky because if you don't know your process, how are tools going to help you? Okay, so before we dive into that, let's actually get on the same page about what workflows even are and why they're so crucial for your business. In the simplest terms, workflows are a set of events, tasks, and a process that needs to happen for a process to take place. It's how you take something from being undone to done. Workflows are absolutely necessary no matter what stage of business you're in. That's because they create a clear and repeatable process for every single time you sit down to do that specific thing. It's not only workflows for task and project management, like taking a task, like a piece of content from an idea to completion, or a project, say, building out an entire website from idea to completion, but it's also bringing your client through the client journey as a workflow as well. So from the moment they inquire on your website, what's the workflow and process of bringing them from lead to client to onboarding to project completion, etc. So a workflow can be for one single task in a process, but it could also be for the entire process itself. Okay, so for example, when you send a client a proposal and they accept it, once they accept it, they'll then be brought into a workflow that includes everything you see here in HoneyBook and ClickUp to take them through the onboarding process. Instead of sending dozens of emails back and forth files, attachments, schedulers. They're just brought into this workflow and sent everything for you. The thing is too, you don't just have to have things on auto send if you have to, you know, maybe add in a Google folder link or something like that. It can be approved before sending so that can have that customization option. You also need workflows for your internal team. So what happens when you bring on a new client? Who's responsible for what portion of the project? Who's responsible for creating content in your business or editing your YouTube videos. These are all pieces of the puzzle when it comes to actually mapping out your workflows and they're totally necessary in knowing what these are before you set them up in a tool. Getting the most out of tools like ClickUp and HoneyBook means you're automating your workflows and eliminating manual tasks that you usually have to repeat. So instead of working inside your inbox all the time or juggling a million tasks, everything is all in one place. So here's the thing, when we bring on our clients, if they don't have their workflows mapped out, that's okay because we actually bring them through this workflow mapping process before we set up their tool. So this is where we uncover what they want their client experience to be like, or what their exact project process is. Now they're giving us that information, but there are certain ways that we gather it and prompts that we ask in order to map out this process. Here are some of what these prompts look like. What steps do you take to ensure that you have all the necessary information to kick off a project? What is that necessary information that you actually need from your client? What are the steps in a process to take your deliverable that you offer to being an idea to fully created? And who's involved in that process? What do you do to onboard a new team member and set them up for success? And that's only the tip of the iceberg. So once we've gathered all this information, then we're actually able to take it and put it into these tools. So now that you know why you need to gather all of these things and actually map out your workflows before putting them into your tools, I don't just wanna leave you there. I want to invite you to our free workflow workshop. I'm gonna drop the link in the description 
description below so you can sign up today. In this workshop, we're gonna teach you how to map out your workflows, how to create them in ClickUp and HoneyBook, and my favorite part, how to automate them. When you sign up, I'm going to give you all the details you need on how to attend, what you need to get started, how to prepare, and I can't wait to see you there. So if this video is helpful for you in understanding a little bit more about workflows and how they can be helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to learn even more about ClickUp and HoneyBook. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you at the workshop.